So what's up guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. So it is Sunday morning and I'm heading out the door going to church I'm going to give Laura some of my time and thank him for letting me stay on track all week and reaching all my goals that I had to do especially for work because y'all know it was a crazy week and I have a crazy week ahead of us but today I'm deeming self-care Sunday I'm going to take care of Crystal today so we are going to get these eyebrows threaded we're going to get a pedicure I'm gonna come back home and do a full face mask um, I do need to wash a couple load of clothes for the week and just get myself to together and just get my meal to right for the week that way I can have a much much better week so I'm about to get ready to head out the door and if you are new to my channel on Sundays we drink Starbucks so I'm going to go drink Starbucks but I'm going to get a healthy Starbucks I'm still trying to do good y'all I'm going to get a healthy Starbucks um and then I'm going to get my mama her regular drink because I get her a drink too going to church um I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing hopefully my mom has a safety pin because I got a little boob action going that I don't want to be at church um so, so so hopefully she has a safety pin on her but if not i mean it's okay but yeah i'll show you guys what so I'm this is what i'm wearing it's just a simple little wrap dress i got this from ross and it was literally 9.99 and then i have on like these little black ballet flats and i got these from rainbow and it's just something simple you know just to throw on it's super comfy now this will like fall and open a bit so hopefully like i said my mom has a safety pin on her um just so i can like not be so boobish at church but hey it really don't matter because worst case scenario if i need to you know Know, throw my hair around there or whatever I'll do that as well but anywho let's go to Starbucks <music> y'all this drive through is atrocious there's one two three four five six cars in front of me and the lobby area is not it's not any better but I got to get in Starbucks before church I am going to be late I mean, technically, I still have 20 minutes, so hopefully we can make it through this line real quick. Cause there's even no reason for me to go in because it's just as full in there. And they do cater through the drive through um, more. So, okay. The one. Okay, so it's three cars in front of me now because one went to the window. I mean, one went to the ordering screen and then three cars in front of me. So, I'm going to just stand the drive through But I'm like... Everybody wants Starbucks now? Like, what's going on? I told y'all that's the reason I started ordering within my app and picking up because they are so busy now. Like, you literally wait at Starbucks for 20 or 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? But the reason I didn't order on my app this morning is because I'm getting a double shot of espresso over ice in a venti cup. And there is no way to, like, put that on the app. Like, I can order the espresso on the app, but I can't tell them to put it in the venti cup. And I need it in the venti cup because I pour my Premier Protein Caramel Protein Shake over it. And with that amount of coffee and this protein shake, the venti cup is big enough. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only reason that I came through the drive through but no complaining because now it's just two cars in front of me so it's moving pretty quick. But your girl got a little nervous because I was like, now I don't want to be late to church because of no Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that. Now that is just crazy, Lord. Um, but the Lord know my heart. <laughs> but yeah, and I definitely need this coffee today because um, like I said, I'm going to get pedicure. My pedicures take a long time. I don't know why. They do an amazing job and I'm not complaining about the time, but I just know I'm going to be in there and I don't want to be tired this man is about to tear the drive through up he got a real big Ford truck mm -mm. see when you got a truck that big I think you don't need to be in the drive through because they, they are not made for big big trucks like that um, but yeah anyway I'm going to be in, getting my pedicure and stuff and I'm already tired I probably should have brought my laptop and use my hotspot I am loving the whole hotspot thing like with work um, we did have a hotspot but our hotspot was on a data plan so you had to be careful not to go over you know or whatever so the bill wouldn't be high so that's why I never used my hotspot with my company phone but now you know me and baby got unlimited everything so I love having my hotspot with me um, and so I have started bringing my laptop with me a lot more places because I'm able to you know do that so and especially for vlogmas I should have brought my laptop with me 
but no, 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 Crystal, because this is self care Sunday. We're not worried about editing. <laughs> We're not worried about that. We're taking care of self today. At least the half part of the day. I'll get to editing later on, but at least the half part of the day we're gonna get to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, so yeah, it's only one more car in front of me, so I'll come back when I get ready to place my order. Service, what can I get for you? Um, yes. Can I have a tall white chocolate mocha? Hot or ice? Um, hot. And then can I have um, two shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup? Yes. That'd be all for you today. Yeah, that'd be all. Okay, thank you. Alrighty. I know the lighting is bad, y'all. I'm in this drive through Um. I tried on my PJs yesterday and I could have gotten a medium. Like I'm glad I got the large because I have to remember like it's sleepwear so it doesn't have to be fitted. Um, so it could, you know, it could be loose. But my pants, the pants come way up here. <laughs> and the, the jogger part is still around my ankle. So it's not even like I'm pulling them up and then they're like flooding or whatever. Like it's still a full lid pant and then the top part come way up here and then the shirt, you know, is, is flowy or whatever. So I like them like sometimes like that's why I was telling you I can't even order online because I really don't know what size I wear like sometimes I think you know that stuff is gonna fit different it's just, it's weird it's I'm learning I'm learning and y'all seeing it the whole process with me so maybe you know if you're in your journey and you got the same questions and stuff I have it's like oh, okay sis figured it out this is what we gotta do <laughs> but I'm about to get the drink and like I said I do have my protein shake with me so we're gonna start i mean shake this up and then we're gonna pour it in there and it's gonna be so good to me and i need that caffeine because literally this is the first coffee that i've had all week long i don't even think i had coffee last yes did i have coffee last sunday i don't remember but i know i didn't have any monday because i was fasting and then the whole rest of the week you know i was on my plan and that wasn't in my plan to have coffee this week and then I didn't have a lick of coffee yesterday like legit all I ate was that Olive Garden that was all I ate all day I had it for breakfast I mean for well brunch which was breakfast and lunch and then I had it for dinner the rest of it that I had left over so I didn't even eat nothing else yesterday but that so I didn't even get any coffee so yes your girl is a fiending for some coffee this here morning I've already texted my mom I was like I'm so sorry I'm gonna be late over some Starbucks since, but it, it is that real today. <laughs> it is that real, but I'm about to get ready and pull up and get my coffee, so I'll come back and show you guys. Good morning. Alrighty. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Everybody are loving my nails, Demisha. I got so many compliments yesterday, and they look crazy. They looking crazy. I got a nail appointment December 17th, though, for my Christmas nails. Look, I'm so excited about this coffee. Can y'all tell? About to drop it, look. Everybody blow me up. Thank you. Thank you so much, you too. All right, y'all. My phone blow up, she waiting. Oh, she look pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get right here and show y'all What's going on? I'm so sorry about the lighting. Okay, so yeah, this is what it looks like when you get it from Starbucks and it just, and this is what it says, um, the ice Doppler espresso, whatever, but it's literally two shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup. And then all I do is I take my protein shake. And if you follow me on Instagram, y'all see me do this all the time. But I do get questions on how I make my protein iced coffee. And I just take it and I pour it in. And it's going to start to, ooh, ain't that satisfying when you see it mixed? Lord, Lord, Lord. And I have tried them all in there. I've tried the vanilla, the cookies and cream, the chocolate. This is the caramel. Um, I haven't tried like the bananas and cream and all that stuff because I don't think I would want that as a coffee flavor. But I've tried the main ones and my all-time favorite is this caramel one. Like, y'all, I know y'all think like the cookies and cream would be it because I am like a cookies and cream fiend. But I don't 
don't know. It's like with the cookies and cream, it's good, but I feel like I need to add something to it. And with this caramel one, I don't have to add anything to it. I get the coffee, you know, sweet coffee flavor that I'm, I'm longing for. So yeah, I just take my straw and I stir it. This car is coming out. You got it. We got the same car. You know we know how to drive, baby. Okay, and then I'm going to put my lid on. And we're gonna take this first sip because your girl has not had any coffee in a while. Then a little more. This is how it looks. Oh, oh, they got the white one instead of the green one. But this is how it looks. Oh, it's gonna be so good to take it. And it's 11 o'clock. I broke my fast at 10 today. And y'all, I broke my fast with a salad. Courtney said, who is my wife? Who is your wife? Like I legit had a spinach salad for when I broke my fast this morning. Who am I? But I was craving it, and I, so when I broke my fast, that's what I had. Oh, yes. See, with that caramel, it gives you that coffee flavor, that sweet flavor that you're longing for, and kind of like that flavored thing, because you don't just want an iced coffee. You want flavor in it, you know? So, mm -mm. This is so good. I am being late to church for it. The Lord know my heart. I'm headed there now. I got Mama's coffee as well. So yeah, I'm about to go to church and I will pick you guys up when it's time to go. I think I'm gonna get my eyebrows done first and then get a pedicure because it kind of is in a line. So, you know, so I won't have to like go up and then come back. I'll be trying to think of my earrings that way. But I will pick you guys up a little bit later. So guys, I am out of church and the first stop is gonna be to go ahead and get my eyebrows threaded because y'all know they look a whole mess. I did get my eyebrows microbladed um, a year ago actually. Um, and I loved it. Like, if y'all are OG followers, y'all can remember. Like, I used to have just like a really thin line. I've never in my whole life had eyebrows. I never did. So, whenever microblading came about, I was like, you know what? I want to do this. And that is literally how me and Demisha met because she had just gotten her um certification in microblading and she needed models. And so, I was like, say, sis, uh, I want to do this you know it's something that I don't know much about you can teach me and then you know we can do this together so she ended up doing my microblading and I loved it and I still do love it now it has been over a year and microblading lasts between a year and 18 months so you do have to like get it again because essentially it's like a tattoo for your face but since our face is always like we always doing something to it you're washing it you're moisturizing you're exfoliating you're doing so much of course it starts to like fade a bit so it is time or it it could be time for me to get microblading again and it's just it, i'm thinking about it like, now i'm not gonna lie the it hurts when you first start so when you're doing because she does once on this eye once on this eye and then one time on this eye. so she does it twice on each eye um you do get numbing cream to start and then you know she microblades oh i'm so sorry about the light it's dark um let me see if i can lighten y'all up a bit just a little bit dang did that help okay there we go but yeah so anyway when you first like on your first pass of microblading even though you have numbing cream it still hurts like hades because the numbing cream is just sitting on your skin it's not actually you know penetrated yet so after she does the first time and does the first time now on the second go around now once she does it the first time she puts numbing cream on it again for the second pass the second time you ain't gonna feel nothing because you already have like the little cuts in your face and stuff like that not cuts but you know in your brows for the blade because it's a real blade look i know i am all over the place explaining this and i'm sorry <laughs> but because of the blade or whatever once she puts the numbing cream on the second time then you don't have to worry about feeling nothing because since you have the cuts the numbing cream the numbing cream has um sucked in so you ain't gotta worry about it so your second pass you don't feel nothing and then after that like literally once you get up from the table you're not gonna feel anything you are gonna feel a little tightness from your brows and especially when they get dry so you want to keep them not you don't want to you want to keep them dry as far as not adding water but you do want to keep them what hydrated with the with the cream that you put on them or whatever but yeah all in all i said that to say it hurts but like if you can make it through that first level of hurt then you'll be okay because the numbing cream been the sunk in and 
and then you'll be good. So I don't know though, I don't know. And then you can't not get that area wet for 10 days, then it peels off. So it's a whole process, sis. When they say beauty is pain, honey, they not lying, it's a whole process. So I am still satisfied with the way my brows look though. Like I'm not running to get microblading, but I'm like, should I? do it again like should I, I don't know because i feel like if i do it one more time then of course they're going to be even darker than what they are now and that's the look that i want to go for but i do feel my brows in you know so i don't know i'm still thinking about it demisha is ready she's like sis all right are you going to get the microblade i'm like oh i don't know so i'm thinking about it i'm thinking about it y'all i'll let y'all know what decision i come up with if you have microblading tell me your experience below like did it hurt you or would you do it again after you know the time or whatever like that but um once you get the microblade or whatever they're your brows because it's really you know just tattoo ink but it just looks so natural i love the way she did hers and i got my microbladed and micro shaded so it was micro bladed at the front and then micro shaded toward the end because i wanted it to be like darker or whatever but like i said it just depends on your skin if the ink will settle and how dark it will turn out to be or whatever so yeah but I'm about to get ready and go get these things um, threaded because your your real eyebrow still grows. Your shape is still there. Like nothing changes. It just adds color to your brows. And especially for me, I used to have a very, 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 very thin brow. If I got a, if I can find a picture, I'll put it right here. I used to have a very thin, thin brow and then now I actually have a brow. So that's why I said, that's why I think I'm not rushing to go get it done because I don't did I flash out? I did get a safety pin too. Um, that's why I'm not rushing to go get it done because I, I see my growth. I saw my glow up. You know, I came from that thin, thin brown to this. So I'm not even tripping about it. But I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. This is how much coffee I got left. Oh, I've been trying to savor it. But I'm going to go ahead and down this down. And I didn't tell y'all that on Weight Watchers, this is a two-point coffee. And it is a total of 170 calories. It's 10 calories for the espresso and 160 calories for the protein shake so healthy coffee both weight watchers calorie count um i'm not really sure about the whole keto vegan aspect of it i i think it may be keto because it doesn't have any carbs and only one gram of sugar so it may be keto i think i've seen some of my keto sis drink it so i don't know but it's called a protein iced coffee a profi ha <laughs> yeah y'all know i'm crazy and plus i'm paying attention to the road and this is a bumpy road let me see if i can get over because y'all this is such a bumpy road but yeah i'm gonna go and get my brows done and then we're gonna head on to get this pedicure and you know what i'm so behind on other people's vlogmas videos because when you're vlogging and editing and working like you really don't have time for much <laughs> starting to realize that so i am so like it's day eight of vlogmas and it's like a whole lot of people who i haven't even watched any of their vlogmas so yeah your girl is about to chill out get this pedicure and watch all these vlogmas videos and just relax like i'm so excited about this that's why i was trying to save my little coffee so i could drink coffee and watch it but um i, I wanted this coffee so yeah guys i'm going to pick you back up and show you the result this is my before if y'all can see y'all can see what they looking like and then i'll show you the after guys eyebrows are done see my face looks so much better already like whenever my eyebrows are not done it's like I, my face my features just don't pop but when they done they pop so yep we got these eyebrows done so now we're headed to go get a pedicure <laughs>
thing. Like I said, it take a long time. They really take their time. They're very thorough. It is after two. Um, and I still need to make one more stop. I got to run in Kroger and get some water because we are out of water and I need water. So I'm going to stop in there and get that. And then I'm going to go home and wake baby up so we can start on dinner today. Um, it's technically my cheat day, but I'm not really feeling like any crazy foods or whatever. So we just gonna have some barbecue baked chicken and some potatoes. Um, so yeah, I'll show y'all that when we get home. But yes, I feel like I cheated on Courtney. Like that pedicure was everything. I had to give her an extra special tip, but they giving out Christmas gifts. It's a green tea lotion, he said. And it it's so cute. It says, thank you on it. And it's like, Merry Christmas. You know, and they said they're giving it to the customers and stuff. And this is where I come and get my pedicures is called lv nails it's on the 20 highway is right where the target is where i always go um so y'all been coming here for man probably about a year now um and then y'all know demisha does my nails she does do pedicures and stuff but when i go to the nail shop it's already super late and stuff like that so i just let her do my nails and then i come here and get a pedicure but i am going to tr transition to demisha to do pedicures and stuff like that so i'll just get my nails and toes there done i mean get my nails and toes done there too but when i tell y'all she went in like oh i am so relaxed i feel so good like i probably am gonna have me some wine today um that probably will be what my cheat is for today because thinking about it i haven't cheated like i literally had a salad for breakfast i had a protein iced coffee i do have a fiber brownie in my purse that was my snack but i haven't eaten it yet and then i've been drinking water all day so yeah i haven't cheated even though like any even the potatoes are not a cheat i forgot how many points they were on weight watchers i'll tell y'all when i get home but it's not even a really bad day so that's good but wine i'm drinking wine today just to to end it out but now like i said i'm about to go to kroger get some water then i'm gonna go back home um wake baby up and then i'll start editing but i'm gonna do a face mask like it's it's gonna be lit y'all so stay tuned <laughs> all right guys so i'm home and i'm editing baby is up she has seasoned the chicken put it in the oven i told you we're having barbecue baked chicken and some potatoes and she's watching the game the saints are playing the 49ers it is 45 to 46 and they're both 10 and 2 so she's like oh i need to call my mama so i ain't gonna be able to vlog because her, her mama finna be on this phone cussing hollering at these saints Baby, say hey to the vlog. Hey to the vlog. <laughs> oh, Lord. And all y'all Saints fans in the comments, I be seeing y'all be posting that oh! stuff. Uh oh, Lord. I told y'all she finna start hollering, but she I am good. home. I am editing. I did go to Kroger. I got some water and I got me a little small wine because I told y'all that's gonna be the last of it all. I'm about to get ready to go in here. Well, I'm actually gonna do a face mask, but I'm gonna do it a little later. I'll come back and show you guys what face mask I'm using, but I'm probably gonna end the vlog before then so I can get it edited and upload. It. yeah so i'm gonna finish editing and i'll come back and show you guys the face mask and stuff that i'm gonna use okay guys so these are the potatoes that we're having you can find these in the area where they have fruit and stuff at walmart and ever since baby started getting these they have been lit like when she said we were gonna have potatoes today i thought we was gonna have just the um potatoes in the cup and when i saw these i about lost my mind it does come with a sauce packet inside to give it that garlic and parsley taste and it is so so good and these are two points per six potatoes on weight watchers so i can have six of these potatoes for two points or whatever so that's why i told you tonight in the bag and then we just having baked chicken with the barbecue sauce um so yeah and then this is the face mask that i'm about to do it is the oil absorbing mint and lemon clay mask and it is a 10 minute mask and it instantly refreshes and controls breakouts for clear skin i bought this from ulta and i think it's like like ten, five dollars or something between five and ten dollars so yeah i'm about to just do this and then and then your girl is gonna take me a really hot shower well actually i'm about to get ready and wash but i'm gonna wash and take the shower and do all that stuff um and then i'm gonna chill out for the rest of the sunday oh let me show you guys the wine i got so baby did buy me some white zinfandel a whole bottle but since i'm not gonna drink that much i just went ahead and picked this up from kroger and it's the little personal bottle of the stella rosa black um so yes your girl is going to enjoy this this a little later once I get out of my shower and unwind me and baby baby we gonna watch a movie yeah. uh, she said yeah she's still kind of sleepy oh that's on now oh she made the Saints lost same my problem Girl, anyway guys yes yeah, you is because you got a whole attitude for no reason she talking about it so that means she mad and her mama real mad who should be mad 
mad. Come on, no, cousin no, no, Look, no, no, no. let me tell y'all this, and this is the last time I say this. I'm gonna make this a public service announcement. Oh, yeah. If you are more worried about another team oh, other than yours, myself. then you are a fan. You you are not a fan in the sense of you'll wear a cowboy shirt, but you keep up with the cowboys more than we do. I so live in Dallas. Of course I don't keep up. They keep up. I hear y'all. We wasn't even talking about the cowboys and what happened. You brought it up. Mm, so yeah. loser. She body. just talked it's about her mom. It ain't a house divided because I don't care. The cowboys don't pay nothing over him. They don't pay nothing. If anything, we pay them because they should take money by our ta uh, by our check for taxes. So that's what you should be mad about. I don't want to be a Saints fan. I didn't say you couldn't be a Saints fan, baby. Who that? Who that? They gonna beat them Saints in that Super Bowl. We going to the 49ers said it today. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end out today's vlog. Like I said, I just got a little bit more to edit. She's still talking, y'all, and I'm trying to edit in the vlog. She know I don't give a fuck about. Ooh, let me stop saying fuck. She know I don't care about no sports. I do not. I don't care about sports. Y'all know I'm all my light now. Y'all know I'm all about crystal and what I like. I don't care about no sports. I don't. I don't keep up with it. Like my mama is the one who called me and give me the whole rundown. Now I will watch a game every now and again. If baby want to watch a game, she'll turn it on and stuff like that. But that shit don't phase me. Don't face me at all. I done went to church. She got me in here cussing because she done made me mad. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead. My um face master. I'm going to go ahead and end out today's vlog. Stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll be going to the grocery store. And plus I need to figure out what I'm going to eat for this week. Um, Now, Tuesday I might be a little off track. Are we eating, baby, when we go to your thing? Yeah, okay, yeah, baby has a company Christmas party that we're gonna go to Tuesday. Um, so that'll be from 6 30. What's the time, baby? Oh, 5 30 to 9. Huh, yeah, it's something between like 5 and 6 to 9 or whatever. So if I go in and see, you know, if I see something that I'll eat or drink or whatever, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna be a part of it. I'm not gonna be there. Oh, okay, it's gonna be 6 six to 9. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, go with baby to her company thing on Tuesday or whatever. But for the most part, I'll be fasting tomorrow and then I need to figure out what's gonna be for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and everything for this week. So if you're not, this is your time to go ahead and subscribe and turn your notification bell on to be notified. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow.